Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut hair in Photoshop. So this method is going to work for just any hair, especially when it's an afro hair that is going to be difficult for you to cut. You can use this method to do that. So once you are done cutting the hair, you should be able to change even the background color of your image. So it just could be just any hair and it should work perfectly for you. Consider subscribing for this your first time to my channel. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So without much ado, let's jump right into action and then do this. I'm first going to close this and then we'll start everything from scratch. So I'll open this image back. And this is the image that we're going to work with. Want to remove the background of this image. If you have any comment, just leave that at the comment section of this video tutorial and then I'll respond to you. So first of all, we need to remove the background lock over here. So double click on this and click on OK. And we want to also create an additional layer where we apply a color to this background. So go to your layer panel and click on what? Add new layer. So click on that and you can fill that with any color of our choice. So this is the color I have at the moment. I want to show this color. I can press Alt Delete on my keyboard to show that. And I'll drag this below my layer. I can turn off this for the moment. If I want to apply a gradient color to this, I can double click and then select what the layer star and then pick any gradient of my choice. Okay. But let's focus and see how to remove this first. And I'm going to turn the eye icon here. Let's focus on this. And I want to basically crop this and let's focus on just the image. Like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more of my videos. So after cropping this, we have to first select this image. We have to select this using the quick selection tool. So I'll make sure this layer is selected, the image, and then pick my quick selection tool and then start dragging to select this image on my layer. So that is what I want to do. Select this. So let's drag until we are done selecting this image. So just focus and then just select the entire image including what the background, the body as well. So select everything like this. I think the selection is okay. I want to add the earring. You can do that by just selecting that. If you want to remove extra selection, you can press Alt on your keyboard just to remove those parts from the selection. So the plus will give you option to add to selection and then the minus will give you option to remove from selection. Okay. So basically, I'm okay with this selection where I've selected up to. I'm okay. If you want to do us any adjustment, you can go ahead. So once you do the selection, what you have to do now, let me just do some adjustments. I'll remove extra selection from here and I think this is okay. So once you are done with the selection, go ahead and click on select and what marks. So click on that and it's going to open a new tab for you like this. What we're going to do over here is to set the view to what? On black, make sure it's on black and opacity is 100%. And we're going to go and we'll go ahead and then we'll make sure we find what yeah. edge brush to be selected. Make sure that's selected. Mine is around what, 190, and I'm cool with that. And the radius I'm going to set it to around 11. I'm going to leave my radius around 11, and my smart radius is also going to be checked. Make sure smart videos to check and leave this around 11. And what I would do is to brush around the edges of this image to refine the edges. So I want to refine the edges. So I have to click over here and drag around this to refine these edges. So just do that. Just drag around these edges like this. I'm going to drag to make sure this edges is well refined. You can come back and then perfect this later on. Like, subscribe for more video from Adjutor. So I've actually dragged around this to find the edges and we'll do some settings at the output side. So what next is to make sure at the output settings change it towards 
decontaminate alleys. So we have to set that to decontaminate alleys. And we set this to around 80. So I'll leave this around 80, 80 percent. And I'm okay with that. And I think I have something later to also improve by here. So you see this is going to improve. And you can see some alleys also visible. You can just drag on top of that to actually remove them. So where you have the alleys selected, just relax and then make sure you find those parts. Nice. So I just but you know I'm cool with this so far. And once everything is done, you are okay. There's nothing to do again. You just go ahead and click on the okay to the right corner and click on that and see what is going to happen. So at the moment you see the background will just go like that. So we've been able to find this and then also remove the background. And we can enable the new layer we set up. So this was the new background layer we set up, and we can change the background color just any background color we want to use so i'm using gradient at the moment so you can use any background color and this will just work for you the way you want and let me zoom out we've been able to remove the background of this amazing apple hairstyle and this will work for just any image try this method and let me know in the comment section if you need to subscribe to my youtube channel like and then turn on post notification we want to hit 10k subscribers by the end of this year and i know with your support We'll get it. Like, come away again.